Hi, I'm Brian Parks from Belimo. I've got Jeff Upright here from Field Support, and today Jeff's going to show you two different weather shields that we sell for our airside actuators. Jeff? Thank you, Brian. As Brian has mentioned, I'm going to show you an unboxing of our ZS100 and 150 airside weather shields. Uh, first thing I'm going to say regarding these is that these actuators hold no NEMA rating. So they are NEMA zero. Um, they will protect from the weather, but no NEMA rating. So be sure of that. So first we're going to do an unboxing of our ZS150. These are both going to be airside for airside applications. In the box you have mounting or instruction sheets. It's going to come with a bag with weather stripping and two covers for your conduit holes. And this is the actual weather shield. It's one piece polycarbonate weather shield. So I've applied the weather stripping around the weather shield. Now we're going to mount it to our actuator. The actuator that we're using has an auxiliary switch. So you want to make sure that you get your cable through. You want to make sure that it's centered as best as possible. And using some sheet metal screws. Install it. There are four, or actually six holes, sorry, six holes to mount. And then you would do the bottom two, and that would be your finished product. Again, what uh, you could do is when you're done doing the uh, screws, put a bead of silicon caulk around to make sure that it is truly weather tight and this will provide protection from the weather and this is good because you can actually get a visual indication of the actuator to make sure that it's moving. We're going to do an unboxing now of a ZS100 airside weather shield. In the box we have a kit so unlike the ZS-150 where it's one piece already made, this is a kit. So it comes with your instruction sheets, spec sheet. We have a bottom, top, two sides, and some assembly screws. And we'll, sh we'll put this together and we'll show you what it looks like. Here we have one already put together. So we have the cover, the sides, and the top. This does not have a bottom on it. So what we can do is we install the weather stripping. And because this doesn't have a bottom on it, this is just going to go over the actuator that it's being mounted to. And again, you can use sheet metal screws Again, because this does not have a bottom and it is a kit, this has no NEMA rating on it. So there you have protection from the elements. And again, when you get this installed, take a caulk gun and put a bead of silicon caulk around it just to ensure that it is truly weather tight and you don't get any water seeping down like that. So I just showed you how to install the ZS100 and 150 weather shield for airside applications. One accessory that Belimo does offer is our ZS-101. This is a galvanized piece of metal and it is a back plate that can be used on our ZS-100 and 150. This is ideal if you're using this on round duct 
you can use this on the bottom, mount your actuator, and have either the ZS100 or 150 mounted on top of that. Hey Jeff, thanks for that great demonstration. If you have any questions, you can call Belimo Technical Support at 1-800-543-9038 or you can go to the Belimo website. Thanks for watching and be sure to like this video.